Okay, so we now are going to start talking about like combining some of these last ideas that we've talked about. So some of our last ideas that we've done are uh, talking about the central limit theorem, talking about continuous distribution, specifically the normal distribution, and also about um, confidence intervals and our confidence bounds. Okay, so we've done kind of these three different things and we're going to combine them together now. And so let's go ahead and put this up as just hypothesis testing. Okay, so what we ultimately want to be able to do in statistics is to be able to ask questions and make database decisions. That's ultimately what we're trying to do. And so far we've been adding in, um, adding in tools and we are finally at the point where we can actually do our hypothesis testing. So let me give you an example of like what our hypothesis testing could in fact help us to do. So let's suppose that uh, we've got a fast food company and we'll call it um, we'll call it like uh, McBurger. McBurger is out and they claim that their new sandwich, we'll call it simply the MB, has 520 calories. All right, that, that's their claim that you know FDA says that they have to have uh, some sort of caloric statement on there and they say that it's 520 calories. Well, the FDA comes along and they think that think that the MB has more calories than what is actually stated. Now up to this point, you know, we've kind of been, you know, we've kind of danced around this idea of how do we, how do we answer it, but now we finally have enough pieces of the puzzle to be able to have the FDA do what's called this hypothesis test. They can make some hypotheses, they can set the level at which they want to be certain, and then they can do a test. And then based on their test, they can either say that, you know, that either that they have enough evidence to show that uh, McBurger is in fact lying or that they can't prove that McBurger is telling a lie so they're just going to go ahead and use what McBurger uh, has stated. So our hypothesis testing just as an intro we're trying to ask questions and make database decisions ultimately that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through a whole bunch of the steps of what actually do we need to do to perform a hypothesis test. And for, for this section, we're specifically going to be talking about doing hypothesis tests of a single mean. And so in our next videos, that's what we'll learn how to do.